performance therapist at Altus. Today I wanna to cover with you guys the idea of Kaizen. Now Kaizen is a Japanese word which loosely translated into English means continuous improvement or continuous change. And this idea of continuous improvement is a philosophy that both our medical staff and our coaching staff here at Altus have adopted. Now I wanna give everyone a little bit of background information of what, what this means and how it applies to what we do. Now if we go back to the 1980s when Toyota, the car manufacturer, was really taking a stronghold on the market, they had a different approach to their manufacturing processes. If you go back, you can actually start to look and see that the idea of agile or lean manufacturing started in about this era. And to kind of explain this, let's take uh, the example of the production ones. You can imagine there's cars that are lined up coming down a conveyor belt. Now at Toyota, when they're doing their final checks, if someone was closing the door, the door didn't quite close right, they would actually press the stop button, the whole production line would stop. And they would have their engineers or whoever needed to go in and fix that door right there in the spot. And the whole line would start up again. Now if we contrast that with some other manufacturers, in that same situation, they might actually just take that car, put it aside, and let production continue. The problem with doing something like that is now you have to take extra man hours or extra people to go back to this uh, lot of cars that has something wrong with them, figure out what exactly was wrong with them, and then fix the issue. And that little bit of extra process isn't making what you're doing very efficient. Now I'm gonna to try to give that example to something you may do, and you might think of this as super mundane, but let's look at washing your dishes. Everyone who uses the dishwasher has to put the dishes away once you're done. And to really kind of focus our example here, we'll just look at your cupboard. So imagine you're unloading your dishwasher, you have your forks, your spoons, um, you need to take those forks and spoons, you're probably gonna carry them to the drawer which your utensils are located. Now you might have to make a few trips back and forth, you probably have to organize your forks and spoons, and at the end of the, end of the day, this takes a certain amount of time. But what if we wanted to have a continuous improvement or a change or increase our efficiency in doing that? Now maybe when we're actually loading the dishwasher, we'll put all the forks into one little basket, all the spoons into another, and the knives, and so on and so on. So that when the dishes are done, you can grab each bundle, take it to the counter or into our drawer and put everything away. That would definitely speed for efficiency. But we can take that a step further. What if we move the drawer where we have all our utensils closer to the dishwasher? Again, that's gonna reduce our time. And again, to take this one step further, well, what, what if, instead of me grabbing all these forks at a time, what if I just take the whole rack because the pump comes out and I put that on top of the counter where the dishwasher is? I'm taking saving time, I'm saving distance travel, so the whole process becomes a little bit more efficient. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what this idea of continuous improvement or continuous change is. And to bring it back to what we do here in the track and field aspect, let's take an example of a junior and a senior year high school 100 meter sprint. Your junior year, might have a PB of 1087, which is pretty good. But then if you start to look at your clusters of your other times, we get to 1103, 1108, all the way down to 1117, which might have been, quote unquote, your worst top five performance. If you then take this idea of continuous improvement to practice, and every day you're at practice, you're gonna be mindful, and you're going to try to create constant improvement in what you're doing, whether it be drills, whether it be anything else in your weight room, you want to improve on a daily basis what you're doing. If you're able to do that, what you might start to see is the following year beat what your first record was. You're running a 1081. But then if you start to look at your clusters, your 1084, your 1087, 1095, and then finally the worst of your times, 1101. Between your, your PDs in each year, there may not be a whole lot of difference. Of course, you are running faster, which is great. But let's look at what your cluster looks like. And if you look at what you are in your worst day, you improved quite a bit from 1117 to 1101. So again, we've adopted this philosophy and I think it's something that at least everyone should be aware of. Continuous improvement and continuous change. Thanks for listening, guys.